Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Knight Riker here. I just wanted to bring a quick video. I purchased a new helmet. This is the Sedici Sistema. And uh, Sistema 2, excuse me, this is the modular helmet. I haven't taken the stickers off because I'm still working on the helmet, getting it ready. And hopefully after today's video it will be ready. And uh, basically I was putting on, transferring over my GoPro mount uh, I had a Sugru glue on it which takes about 48, 24 to 48 hours to dry so I was transferring my uh, helmet setup which is the same as I brought to you on the shoe berth it's just I just transferred it over here and did the same kind of wiring now this helmet is really comfy I don't know if you guys can see this but the padding is like really thick and soft and even inside the padding is really really thick which is good uh, the Schubert C3 light helmet I had was was pretty good but unfortunately uh, the fabric was creasing it on itself uh, right around here by the side of the head and forming uh, basically becoming kind of hard where it was pinching me so much that it would hurt and I'd have to take it off so decided to get another helmet uh, this one uh, is about two hundred dollars at uh, uh, Revzilla and uh, Cycle Gear I went in there and if uh, I guess if it's the right time they're giving out maybe 10 to 20 percent discount uh, trying to make a sale so if you're lucky you can probably get this for about 160 but it just came out as new and uh, you know my C3 had a ratchet system which I love and I'm used to and most of the apparently most of the expensive helmets have that ratcheting system this one doesn't so here let me put bring this out to the side this one has that double D ring and I am really I don't dig the double D ring system at all so there's a product that I used to use before I bought the shoe berth and it's called ride wear uh, quick release bu buckle so I'll put the link in the description below and this basically changes your double D into a buckle so that way you can just kind of snap it on and take it off it's really good I've had it I used to have this for a long time in my older helmet and uh, and this whole thing is made of metal so there's nothing is plastic except one piece which is uh, this piece uh, which really uh, has no main function use so it's it's alright for this to be plastic the rest of it all is metal you can probably hear that it's all metal it's pretty solid and uh, we're gonna put this on today for my helmet it's a little easy uh, I actually put it on and then I said you know what why don't I just bring this video to you uh, so I took it back off and I'm gonna put it back on for you guys so hopefully hopefully uh, you know you guys uh, you guys can also see how easy it is to install and actually use this product and uh, and I think this will be beneficial this will be really really cool uh, so what I've already done is as you know on the other strap you have a button here uh, just like that uh, you have a button so I already popped that off so it's basically you you have to break it there's no there's no two ways about it you have to break that button alright so we're gonna take our little plastic piece here and we're gonna take our strap and put it through just like that and bring this all the way back all right. Yep, so I guess just leave it right here for now. And we're going to take our buckle piece, open that up. Right here we're going to take this piece. And what we'll do here is we're going to take the strap and put it from the bottom. You see, when you hold it down just like this, when you hold it down like this, you're going to put the strap through the bottom piece and then bring it up over around to the top for me. And you can adjust this because when you put your buckle on, you'll adjust this on how loose and how tight you need it to be. So for me, I'm going to keep it all the way to the end. And uh, let's see, I'm going to keep it all the way to the end. And I'm going to go ahead and put this through this loop right here. And then I have a little room here where I can just go ahead and push that in inside there so 
I'm gonna go ahead and push all that stripe inside so it doesn't keep flapping in the wind and hitting you in the neck. And once it goes in, yep, it should be nice and smooth right here. And that's that. Now comes the tough part. This is probably the toughest part of the whole thing. Now what you have to do is you have to get this side right here, which is the uh, the buckle side, and which is the double D-ring side, excuse me, and then take this and you see like this one has a cutout so you have to put the strap down here where the where the double D rings are going through right here this has to go in this slot right here take one side and put that in there and just work that in there try to put one side in uh, if you can see this sorry I'm doing this at night so all my lights are on and I'm sure that uh, that is going to be, I don't know, the video quality might not be all that great. But still, if you're able to see it, then that's good. That's the whole point here. If you're able to see how to put this on. So, so once you get one side in, then you pretty much just have to work the other side in there as well. So... And that's not going to be easy. <laughs> and I want to keep the buckles. I want to keep the buckle on the outside. You see that? I don't want it to be against my skin on the inside. So make sure you have the buckles on the outside. All right, let's see. So we've got this one side in. And now I just need to put the other one in. So you just have to work it. It takes about, it'll take a little bit of time to get this right. It's not as easy, but with a little bit of work, it can happen. I did, I did, the last one I did was pretty quick actually, and I was kind of surprised because uh, I was in the, you know, I, I thought it was going to take a little while, but luckily the first time around it went in pretty easily. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'll be the same here second time around. So let's this is this is probably the hardest most hardest part right here is getting this through Sorry, I'm not sure if you can see this cuz the lighting is obviously pretty horrible but let me see if that helps Alright, so I'm just forcing this piece of fabric to go in here. See if I can get that out of the way. That might help. Alright, almost have it. I think, I think I've got that in there. Almost. Almost. Yes, success. Hang on, almost success, hang on. Almost. Come on. Just a little bit more. And there it is. There it is. Like my friend Borath will say, great success. <laughs> I like you. So as you can see, we've got the strap in here and that's on there, pretty solid. That's not going anywhere. And then basically what happens is you go ahead and you buckle this in and you don't have to worry about messing with those double D rings. So let me sh let me go ahead and swap the camera out and uh, show you what that looks like. Uh, I'll put it on the helmet and then show you what that looks like. Right, you know, I've got my modular helmet on and I've opened it up so I can show you the, the right uh, wear buckle system here. Uh, so just want to show you how easy it is to to use this and uh, before I do that I wanted to let you know that the double D ring here should be on the outside. So that way, if you leave it on the inside, it might press against your neck here and it'll be a bit of a discomfort. So leave it on the outside and and how easy it is to use. It just snaps in and I've loosened this other side up a little bit just to show you, but you can uh, adjust it as uh, you see fit. And uh, even when you have gloves on, you can 
all you have to do is just pop the buckle open and you can open this up so you don't have to mess with the double d rings take your gloves off if you need you know take your helmet off you just uh, to take your helmet off real quick you just have to uh you know snap it in press the buckle button you know press the buttons and then it'll open right up and just and just listen to that how satisfying that sound is it's pretty solid and it's in there so this is uh this is a pretty easy system i like it it's not failed me yet i've been i've, I've been using this for some time in my previous helmet so uh so when i got this new helmet with the double d ring i had to order another one so just make sure there i think they make a couple of sizes so make sure you get the right one and uh, uh i'll put the link down below in amazon of the one that i got and let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh, i think this is pretty pretty cool easy system to use and uh if you like the video guys please hit the like button hit uh, hit subscribe and until next time be safe